my name is Elizabeth Milliner and I'm an elementary art teacher. I teach kindergarten through second grade art at Buckeye Elementary. BTS is very important to me as a teacher. I use it uh, to facilitate uh, art-based discussions with my students. We view a work of art and they uh, discuss what they see in the work of art and they're fostering critical thinking skills because they have to cite evidence that backs up what they see. And so while they think they're just having a discussion about a work of art and what they're seeing and what they're noticing, they're actually using critical thinking. They're answering questions, they are finding things, they're discussing with each other, they're using discussion words such as agree, disagree, um, and from ages five to eight, those are important skills to learn. Um, I feel like the BTS program that I've learned from AMOA has helped my students in a lot of ways. Um, one of the biggest ways I've noticed is through my special education students. I have a lot of inclusion students that have a, a variety of learning disabilities, autism, and a lot of times these students are overlooked in the regular classroom or they're looked at as if they cannot do as much as the regular students, but with BTS, they shine. They really um, get into the discussion just as much, if not more, than the regular students. Um, and you really see how smart they are and, and how much they really are thinking. They might not be able to produce these thoughts on paper or writing like their, their peers, but when they're getting to do these art-based discussions where they don't feel pressured to have a wrong answer, where they feel free and they feel comfortable, you would be amazed at the, the responses they give and, and how intelligent and the, some of the responses from these kids that have autism or that have a learning disability or who can't read, I would have never thought of some of the responses they've given in a BTS discussion. Um, they're sometimes above my head. So it's really amazing the, the things that can come out of these kids when you give them a chance to discuss and you put a piece of art in front of them. As a teacher, AMOA is a great tool. Um, because of the museum, uh, myself as well as my colleagues through the parish, we get to have um, usually two to three meetings a year that the museum facilitates where we get to get, get together as a cohort and um, discuss and learn strategies um, and, and they offer resources to us. They also um, offer resources to our students, um, free uh, scholarships to art camp this summer. I know one of my students who uh, was a low income student got to go to art camp because of the museum this summer. Um, we also just getting that opportunity to meet with the other art teachers in the parish, which we don't otherwise get to do, is a great learning opportunity for me to meet with other teachers and see what they're doing in their classrooms as well. I really think BTS uh, benefits the district as a whole because it's kind of spreading throughout the district. In my school, personally, several of the regular ed teachers have begun to implement visual thinking strategies within their regular ed classroom. And, um, and I think that the more it's offered in the Summer Institute, which is our parish uh, professional development, I think the more teachers that are exposed to it, the more they'll use it. And I think it's going to help with critical thinking with their students, which is the main goal for all the testing the kids have to do. Critical thinking is, is the big deal, and that's what BTS is. Um, so I really think that it's not just something for art teachers to use, it's gonna be something for all the teachers in the parish to use and I'm hoping that it's going to continue to grow and, and more teachers will use it.